Lucian disappeared from Castle Fairfax that night, certain that those who might stand in his way were dead. But some grief is so great, even death may keep its distance. And so the girl survived. Days later, far from the dark alleys of Bowerstone, life slowly returned to her small, broken body. The girl awoke to a familiar face watching over a strange bed. She reached out for the comfort of the dog's warm fur, ready to take her first steps in a new life. Ten winters blanketed Albion. Ten summers filled the air with the sounds of insects and laughter. With time, the girl's pain turned to strength. Her grief became will. A will to change the world and to avenge the death that still haunted her every dream. Ah, there you are. And your faithful friend, too. Many years ago, I promised I would help you avenge your sister's death. That day has come. Today, you leave the safety of this camp and seek out Lucian. The journey will not be easy. There's a chest near your caravan. I've left a few things inside that might prove useful. Meet me by the gates when you're ready to leave. It's the young sparrow I see. Ready to take on the world, are you? For their honeymoon, the happy couple decided to take a hot air balloon ride across the mountains. Now come with me. Open the gate! Good luck. Take this. It is a powerful artifact, the kind of which all heroes once carried. It will grant you access to places others cannot go. It will also allow me to talk to you when necessary. Now, look towards the lake. The seal will allow you to enter that tomb. In its darkest depths lies the chamber of fate. When you come out again, you will be stronger, much stronger. Now go.
Don't be alarmed. I'm speaking to you through the guild seal. You will need to jump into that hole to continue. Don't worry. The water at the bottom will break your fall. Those green orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures that you kill. You'll have to shoot the switch to go any further.
Those green orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures that you kill.
Beyond these broken doors lies the Heroes Guild. For centuries, this academy trained the most supremely gifted sons and daughters of Albion, bound together by the blood that flowed in their veins. Once worshipped by the people of Albion, the great heroes came to be feared and hated. No man alive today remembers the night the guild burned, and now it lies forgotten. But the heroes are not all gone. You are here, and that same heroic blood flows through you. Look around at these walls. Your forebear, one of the mightiest heroes who ever lived. At a young age, he suffered a devastating loss, from which he never truly recovered. But when the world tried to crush him, he fought back. He grew strong, strong enough to reshape the world as he saw fit. You must do the same. The guild has reacted to you. Step into the light. Learn the true power of heroes. Your blood is awakening. You can now channel the experience you have collected into strength, skill, or will. Strength improves combat with hand-to-hand -hand weapons. Skill allows you to shoot faster and with greater accuracy. Will gives you control over the forces of magic. Before you is a colors gate. It reacts to the will of one who seeks to use it. You have not been able to use will yet, but the simple act of reaching this place has given you will experience. You need to learn a will ability to activate the colors gate. Now use the knowledge you have gained so far to better yourself in strength, skill, and will. Shock stuns your enemies and Inferno calls forth magical flames to scorch and burn your foes. Dexterous styles unlock special moves for ranged weapons and other abilities crucial to a skilled fighter. Can you feel the power coursing through you? It is only the beginning. Use your will ability to hit the flit switch and power up the gate. Once activated, it will allow you to travel back to Bower Lake. Well done. Now you are ready to begin your journey. Use the Colors Gate. Use your newfound abilities to defeat them. Those green orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures that you kill. Brutal styles unlock special moves for use in close combat. The stronger your physique, the more damage you will cause with close combat weapons. 
A tougher hero is able to withstand more damage before falling in battle. Is this a thespian appearing in our midst? Someone who has experienced life who can compliment my words with a worthy performance? I am Albion's finest tragedian, author of 7,452 plays, and I am now putting the finishing touches on my crowning masterwork. Perhaps you could assist me? Splendid, splendid. All you have to do is accompany each of my lines with an appropriate expression. Just let the power of my imagery guide you. Rupert was perambulating down the street with his friend when he burst out laughing. I'm afraid my artistry far exceeds yours. You need to learn more acting skills. See the world. Apologies, citizen. The road to Bearstone is closed due to the bandit activity. I'm afraid that as long as the bandit thag is alive, the road stays closed. If you're in an hurry like, you can always take care of thag yourself. So, the road to Bearstone is closed. It would seem Thag has been capturing traders on their way to the Bower Lake camp. He is a danger to all and must be dealt with. With your new power, you should be able to defeat him and his gang and continue your quest. No doubt they are at his camp near Bower Lake. Keep your wits about you. It may be a trap. Thank you. 
Look out! It's an ambush! I should be able to get enough gold off. I'll gut you myself. I'll give you three seconds to get ready. No, wait, two. Oh, sorry. Famous enough to use the follow and wait expression. Well done. I will tell the guards of Thag's death. With a threat removed, the road to Bowerstone can reopen. Inferno calls forth magic. Thag keeps the key to the cage in his hut. It's in a chest.